गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे अगेन वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्टॉक मार्केट एंड द फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आई हैव बीन प्रोडिक्टिंग दैट अक्टूबर मंथ इज मोस्ट क्रूशल एक्सप्लोसिव फॉर द स्टॉक एंड फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स एंड आई मैंशन दैट फ्रॉम सेप्टेम्बर वट एवर आई हैव प्रोडिक्टेड वेरी प्रिसाइजली From September 17 to 25 September, have proved 100%. And even previous months, three, four months, what I have predicted is 100%. You see, in for predicting the financial astrology and especially the stock and financial markets, you need to learn mundane astrology. I am sorry to inform you that not even a single astrologer on YouTube. Knows mundane astrology. They are using the birth astrology for mundane astrology, and they nobody is making predictions, a broad predictions, a a time frame. They are only making daily predictions. If the market is going down, they will say the market will go down. If the market is going up, they will say the market is going up. Similarly, for <coughs> Narendra Modi. some astrologers have started saying that he will not become the prime minister because lot of tensions are going on this is not astrology this is you are not using astrology properly and with a pious mood you have not to be impressed by the conditions and mind you i do not take whatever is happening in the stock market i predict as per the planetary positions and because planetary positions in astrology there are, there is replicability and whatever has happened <clears throat> right from 24th october 1929 to 24th february 2020 to 2020 i have studied the planetary positions and i am pretty sure that the stock and financial markets from the 13th to 29th specifically will take a nasty turn because if then it does not take place then the astrology principle will fail and i will stop predicting about financial astrology let me be very honest about it as per me i will tell you the dates what i have seen 24th october 1929 <clears throat> then january Uh, to 1973, the, uh, the at the time of 1929, the the recession lasted for four years, and at the time of January 73, it lasted for 23 months. <clears throat> In, on 19th October 1987, the planetary positions are parallel, and <clears throat> it was a plug Monday, and 20% plunge in the S&P and Dow Jones. On 11th of September 2001, when the terrorist activity took place on the tower in US, <clears throat> the crash took place in the stock and financial markets, and it continued. And on 9th October 2020, again there was uh, the planetary positions now are similar, and the crash took place in United States, Canada, Asia, and Europe, following the 9/11 terrorist attack. 11th October 2007 the combinations are similar and dow jones and sp worst ever after 1929 then <clears throat> comes the 16th september financial crisis and then the 24th february 2020 when s&p dropped 34% 1145 points at peak on 19 february at 22237 caused by covid 19 lockdowns S&P peaked at 4796 on 3rd January 2020. Two on 16 February 2022. Again, a reaction from by the Ukraine and Russia war. <clears throat> uh, the planetary positions are somewhat similar till April, right from 13th October to 8th April. the planetary positions are somewhat parallel to earlier crashes and mars is the planet of activation whenever 
there is an eclipse, there is an eclipse point and when, when Mars uh, uh, activates this eclipse point, it is the point of explosion. Whatever will start, will start. But then the explosion will take place when Mars reaches that point. And that point is on 7th of April, 21st of April, 2024 and 6th July, 2024. We will be talking about that later on. But as far as the present planetary positions are concerned, Demon Rahu, Mars, Ketu, Rahu, Saturn are on the driving wheel and Jupiter is retrograde and with Rahu and Rahu and Jupiter are expected by the malefic, two major malefics, Mars and Saturn. There is no reason that the stock and financial markets will not take a big break. So this is one friends I just wanted to share that between 7th and 13th the market will go up and down but it will vibrate between 19,500 to 19,600 or maybe even 700. So this is all what I wanted to share that don't, uh, don't think that the market has gone up yesterday and today so the market will go up. It is just like you know the demon Rahu what is it does is it inflates the tire and then deflates the tire. So Rahu is on the wheel so first it will inflate and then it will deflate and total puncture in the tire. So that is what I am attributing to the stock and financial markets, war between the countries, earthquakes, tornadoes, explosions, fire and brawl between the countries will take an ugly shape. So this is all friends, whatever I have predicted till date has proved 100% and if you go to my website www.astrodoc.com then you will see I have written more than 2200 articles prior to the happenings. Not even a single astrologer has written so many predictions about the world and my success rate is 96%. Obviously and to be very honest, my predictions uh, earlier had gone wrong than when I predicted that there will be recession in the first part of, <coughs> in the last part of 2022. But there was definitely a break what I had predicted even in May and June 2023. So this is all friends I just wanted to share. Thank you very much for listening to me. Have a good day. Good luck. Bye bye. And my disclaimer clause is applicable. Please invest at your own whims and fancies and be very cautious in your investing in this period. Bye bye.